Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake's American Nightmare. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we're coming to save Serena. If this is the last time through, I'm definitely not going to leave her in the dark. Well, even if she's only going to remember this for another few minutes, I wouldn't want her to live in the dark. I'm not hearing anything. Oh. I guess she's just waiting. Let there be light! Oh. Hey. I'm hoping I can put an end to this now. You'd better. I really don't want that to happen to me again. It's like somebody vomited in my brain. Like a sleazy movie that keeps looping in my head. I'll stop this, I swear. You know the part that's really screwed up? If you mess it up, it'll just keep happening forever, right? I don't think I can deal with that. Don't think about that. I don't think of anything but. Hey, afterwards, when all this is done, look me up. This thing, I can probably help you deal with it. I don't know. It's almost like I'm not even in the same world anymore. Everything's just weird now. You have no I idea. Know. A lot of that'll pass with time. But being touched by the darkness, it's rough on you. It's a lot to process. And I just don't want you to get completely screwed up by this. Might be a little late for that, to be honest. Yeah, well, there's degrees. At least you're not at a point where you go around picking fights with people over not changing their light bulbs often enough. What? Never mind. All I'm saying is, you're not alone with this. In any way, you're friends with Alice, so, you know, any friend of hers. Thank you. Now then. And you gotta say, uh... Three characters plus Mr. Scratch seemed a bit underwhelming. But I can totally understand how they wouldn't... Didn't I need those for something? Well, whatever. I can totally understand how they wouldn't do that for, uh... a downloadable game. They were interesting characters, anyway. These three women. Now... Let's wrap things up and listen to the last radio broadcast. Hello, folks, and welcome to the third part of our pre-recorded interview with Serena Valdivia and renowned photographer Alice Wake. So, uh, tell me about the film. It's called Sunrise, and it really wasn't something I ever thought of as an actual film. It was just footage, things I saw and happened to shoot. It's not a medium I'm very much at home with. You shouldn't put yourself down. You've got a great eye. Maybe, but experience is another thing. Because you're primarily a still photographer. Yes, exactly. So I'm really used to thinking of the world in terms of snapshots. I frame something and try to pick the right moment, and then reveal that moment to people. Moving images are a different story. I'm still learning a lot about it, to be honest. So this is a new thing for you? <laughs> or maybe I'm just a slow learner. But showing it like this is definitely a new step for me. It's a little weird taking something this intimate and showing it to everybody. Not that the material itself is somehow shocking, it's just that those were private moments. But that's why it works, because it feels genuine. It's not so much a story as it is a sort of an echo, showing us how you saw your husband at the time. It's not really about the sunrise itself or Alan watching it. It's about you two together, I suppose. It's funny looking at it now, especially now that it's been edited like that. It takes on a life of its own almost. It's a kind of a fantasy. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. No, you're right. I'm glad you talked me into it. And that should be that. Hopefully we'll be hearing more from Alice Wake in the next... exciting, uh... episode of this franchise. <laughs> the next exciting installment of this franchise. Well, adios, Serena. We better go save the world. You stay in the light, too. Let's see, there's a page over here. Uh... 
Oh, right, I can just go over there. That's weird. Given that they deliberately start you on the other side of the compound this time, I think putting the trigger in the same place is really poor planning on Remedy's part. But hey, the rest of the game is pretty good, so I'm gonna give him a pass on that one. The clothes. The clothes I wear now I shaped from dreams and memories. It's an old outfit originally from the 90s. The last time I wore it was when I was still riding and Alice and I took a vacation in the desert before our troubles began. The night before, we'd been at a party, and I had dressed to the nines. On that lazy day, I put on these old clothes, worn and comfortable. Alice made a joke about grunge. I felt a little embarrassed, but I stuck with them. We were very happy. I'm sheathed in good memories to remind myself of what is at stake. Oh. It's a surprisingly heartwarming explanation for this. You know, I said he looks like a handyman, but... Really, uh... It's not that outrageous an outfit. It doesn't really surprise me that much after all this time. To hear that he really did wear it. Is that a page? What is that? It is a page! Well, there you go. The Grenadier. The Taken were always single-minded. They had a certain animal cunning, but they weren't very intelligent. That's one reason why they prefer melee weapons. Actual firearms are too complex for them to use. That's why seeing the one who threw grenades at me surprised me. But of course, they aren't actually grenades. There's no pin to pull, no fuse to set off an explosive, just concentrated darkness. I wonder if that was always there. I mean, this was the region where I first saw the Grenadier, but that was all the way back on the first uh, loop, I think. Sunrise up there? It is! That's at least elaborate title, too. Which seems oddly appropriate. And this would be the last page of this region. Only missing one page. I did pretty damn good. Alice's film. I held the film canister in my hands. I saw her name written across it in big letters, followed by the title. It was a time capsule. Moments snatched from times gone by. From a past that I hoped could also be our future. It was my salvation. Our salvation. Our chance to be together. A tin can with a bit of magic in it that she didn't even know about. Something I could put to good use. There were only moments left before I had to face him. That's a pretty good summary of right now, actually. Let's do this. I'm gonna go take a look over at the souvenir place anyway. Just for shits and giggles. Uh oh. <sighs> I now know that there won't be any pages over there since I got all of the pages at the, uh... Let me just check something. So I missed one somewhere in the, uh... Oh, and that sounds like it would have been a fun one, too. Well, I'll tell you what. Since it's only the one page, uh... When I beat the game, I'll go over to the, uh... Alan Wake Wiki, or whatever is appropriate. Is everything properly loaded? Yes. Look we'll over to the Alan Wake Wiki. And, uh. 
copy the text of that missing page into the credits video on an annotation. Oh, hey! Damn it, Alan! What the hell was that? I had to love trigger, and he just uh, stood there. He, I mean, it focused the beam, but he wasn't pointing it at anything. It's enough. <sighs> Let's do this. Let's put an end to this nightmare once and for all. Again, the Champion of Light enters the final trap. The new reality is almost here. All he needs to do is change the details of the scene push it past the breaking point, and the rest will snap into place. It was late at night. Later! The summer was almost over. There was a film noir poster visible. Later, Tommy. See you in the funny pages. Oh! Geez, I didn't even notice that the first time. It's an Alex Casey uh, story. Can I read that stuff at the bottom? Oh, uh, those are just fake names. I was hoping it would be uh, based on the, on the critically acclaimed novel by Alan Wake. That's because it doesn't seem to interfere with anything. I'm pretty sure that music there is actually from the first Alan Wake game, not Death Rally, as that game consi uh, soundtrack consisted almost entirely of MIDI guitars. A spotlight illuminated the red fire extinguisher. Alice's film was in the projector. Let's do this. Scratch, I'm calling you out. Something's happening. Oh, come on, buddy. Why don't you... What? What is this? <laughs> no! No! You can't Burn. Do it. All I did was take the things you always wanted and never had the balls to go for. It's my turn now. It's my life.
He's home at last. Now that's a happy ending! Are these actual events, or merely a dream? A memory, or a glimpse of what is to come? One thing is certain. This scene takes place in another time, and another place, far, far away. From Night Springs.